Hey friends, welcome back to Crust Cranks. Alright, uh, got a little bluegill I'm going to do for you today. Actually, I've done uh, quite a few of these. And I've been wanting to put them on video for everybody. Um, I've got a bunch of different patterns I've been doing on them. And uh, yeah, I want to share them with you. So, this one today, um, I'm doing for my little nephew Sam. Because he came down and bought some baits off of me. Him and his dad. And... Um, he really liked one of these bluegills and I'm painting them a bunch for this event coming up at the end of the month and um, so yeah I thought I, I told him I said he can't have that one because I got to paint one on a video so um, I'll paint his so Sam this is this is your bluegill right here that I'm painting for you um, so yeah let's get started um, um, so let's get this out of the way for the minute um, so we're gonna obviously we're gonna do titanium white um, we're gonna do pearl white, all createx. Then we're gonna do we're gonna use some transparent yellow. Um, before we do that, we're gonna put down. Um, now um, you'll see I'm using different ones on these, but for this particular one, I'm using the green, blue, violet, Vallejo shifters. Um, but some of the bluegills I'll be doing, you can do the electric blue intense violet too. These just add a, that little bit of shiny under color on your white. Um, when you look at a bait fish, you know, you see the purples and the blues and stuff. And I found out, and I've had a bunch of compliments on the baits because of these shifters. So if you don't, if you're not using the Vallejo shifters, get you some or get you some kind of shifting paint. All right. And you don't always have to paint that on black. Um, when you paint it on a pearl white, you'll see those blues and greens um, and those colors, and they kind of fall back into the into the uh, paint pattern and and look like a real bait fish. I mean, so I've been using them on almost all my whites and stuff now, and just when um, doing bellies and stuff like that, and it, it just it's just crazy. You have to do it to see it. Once you do it and you see it, you're gonna be like me. You're gonna be like, I gotta do that on all my, on all my bait fish patterns. Um, so, all right. So yeah, we're gonna use the Vallejo green, blue, violet, and then we're gonna use the only other color that you might have to run out and get. This is called blue cotton, um, and it's an apple barrel. Or you can find a real light blue like this, or you can use one of your Createx colors and just add some white to it and lighten it up but I like this blue cotton it really looks it really looks like the color on a bluegill um, and then we're going to use some detail yellow okra and we're going to use obviously some detail sepia and detail moss green and some opaque black all right um, or you could use the detail smoke black if you got the detail smoke black um, either one of these work or basically just darkening it up a little bit with that and um, putting the ear um, tab on there so let's uh, let me get these um, white and pearl white on there and we'll move on to the next colors okay guys got the pearl white and the titanium white on there and uh, I'm going to put a little Vallejo on there um, and I'm going to try to make it through this video we got a pretty pounding thunderstorm outside so I might have to shut down and start up later but we'll see how far we can get if my camera goes off And I lose some footage. You don't know why. So we're using the blue green Vallejo, green blue violet, just to get a little bit of those blues and purples on there. Just a little base, mostly going to show up on the belly, but I just hit it all. It's a little faster. All right, so clean that out and we'll get on to the next color. Okay, um, next color we're gonna do is Detail Moss Green. Um, and I apologize, I, I'm not using transparent yellow. I don't know why I pulled that out. Um, the only yellow we're using is the yellow okra. So scratch the transparent yellow, we won't be using that. But what we wanna do now is we're gonna put a little bit of a 
little bit of a moss green on here. We're going to kind of let it fall down the sides. And um, we're going to keep it in our brush because we're going to come back to it. But first we just want to kind of get a little bit of a, a moss green going down the sides a little bit. You'll see why in a minute. We're obviously going to be a little darker at the top and around the eyes, so let's go ahead and put a little bit there and the fin. But you just kind of shoot down the sides and just kind of let it fall. And we're going to come back and we're going to deepen that green up, but we're going to put our okra spots on there first but we want a little bit of a deep a little bit of a green under that okra because we don't want the spots to be yellow we want them to kind of blend in and if you're doing these don't forget to do the back side of your the back side of your top fin there Okay, let's put a little detail yellow okri. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so I always thin these detail colors out a little bit just because they're uh, usually a little thick. But uh, let's see if I got it thin enough. Plus it gives you a little more control. Alright, we're going to spray a little yellow under his chin here trying to get it so you can see what I'm doing I'm going to go just back to the to the hook holder just a little bit just so you can see it and you could probably use yellow just dirty it up a little bit on this particular bluegill that I'm doing from the reference photo I was looking at it was a little more of a dirty yellow It gives a little more of a subtle, subtle blend. I'm going to leave it in the brush. I'm going to get a different brush in a minute. Okay, let's see. Let's go up just a little bit on the belly right here. About like that. Now let's even it out a little bit more on the belly. Just kind of let it fade. All right. Show you what we got right here. Let's get 
right here. All right. Next, I'm going to put the stencil on there. And uh, I'm going to put our stripes on. Okay, got my stencil on there. Now I'm going to take the yellow ochre again. And I'm going to hit all this stencil. And I got it thin, so I'm going to get it nice. Nice and dark, but I'm going to kind of fade it down to the bottom. So, just going to hit it a little light at the bottom and darker towards the top. And then I'll probably let it dry a little bit and hit it again. Now, I'll probably just show you doing one side. Just because I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. But I got to leave my stencil on there. And then go back to the detail moss green. Because I want that yellowish spots towards the bottom. And then as we get to the top, they're going to be a little more darker green. And I don't want to flood it because I don't want it to run under the stencil. With just a little bit of air too, just to kind of dry it and let me put more on. And the reason I don't just go ahead and do detailed moss green is because I want to get that, I want those spots to stand out. So let me let that dry and I'll bring you back and I'll put the green on there. Okay, now we're going to go to the detail moss green. And we're going to go a little darker at the top, lighter towards the bottom. Defend it a little bit more, but we'll make it work.
I barely got paint coming out of there, so it looks like I might be putting a lot on, but just want to turn that yellow just a slight green I think that's going to do it let me uh, heat this a little bit and I'll peel it off and show you what it looks like Okay, let me uh, get the other side done. I'll bring you back and I'll show you the reveal on that. Then we'll finish up with the fins and the gills. And uh, just add a little bit of another color to it. All right, here's the other side. Both sides looking good. All right, um, let's see. While we got the, uh, while we still got the okra in there, let's um, let's hit the fin with a little bit, just to kind of yellow it up a little bit. Blend a little yellow and green. And we got a few spots on there, but that's okay. We're going to put a touch of black on there, just to tint it in a little bit. I like to do these fins dark so they kind of stand out. Not dark, dark, but just to kind of separate the look of them a little bit. And I got to be careful laying that over there. It's still wet a little bit.
chicken it. All right, let's um, let's go to blue. Okay, next we're going to put a little blue on the cheeks, and I'm using uh, Apple Barrel Blue Cotton. Thin down pretty good. And just want a little bit of a tent. Ah. Having little trigger problems. Time for a cleaning. Okay, let's come up a little side a little bit more. There we go. Take a look at this other side again. There's a little bit more right here. All right, now I'm gonna put a little bit on the tail end. Not as dark. I got this apple barrel thinned down pretty good. Come up just to the hook, the hook tie. All right. Okay, next we're gonna add some detail sepia. And uh, like I said, we're gonna deepen this up a little bit, give it a little depth. And we're not gonna go very much. We just wanna kinda change that green just a little bit at the top, just to darken it up a little bit. And kinda blend them stripes in. Probably gonna be really hard to see on camera. But once you get the epoxy on it, man, it makes it look, it just makes it look so realistic. Just adds that depth.
and I'm going to come down the head just a little bit and then around the face a little bit around the eyes down to the kind of down to the blue I want to make sure I get those little ridges in the back of the fins too. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to come down this eye a little bit more. Up to the lips. And let's do a little bit towards the tail end. kind of use it to your preference all right I'm gonna put a little bit on that those fins just a little touch and I'm just gonna give it just a little heat Mostly, we're just going to hit the edges of this fin a little bit. Just want to tone back that yellow oak a little bit. There we go. Let's get the other side. You can see the difference. All right, let's get the black gear tab on here, and um, we're gonna get some get some epoxy on this guy, some eyes and some epoxy. Okay, we're gonna put our ear tab on here. Got some opaque black in here. And then gonna. 
Take a lot. Do the other side and we'll put some eyes on it. Get some eyes okay for eyes i'm going with this kind of soft brown and black i've been using these um, but i'm all out of the size the small ones that fit in here um, but these would look more like a crappie eye if you look at a crappie eye it's got the little brown off to the side um but yeah we're gonna go with this brown i've put these on there before and they kind of blend really good with the color so that's the one we're going to use still on my same bottle of loctite the only thing i don't like about the loctite is it takes a little longer to set up now this kind of has a little bit of a teardrop shape to it, so I want the teardrop pointing forward because that's how it is on most fish. You'll see, if you see a little, if you look at them close, you'll see a little teardrop shape. This one's not real, real prevalent, but it does have a little bit of a teardrop to it. That, uh, those eyes fit perfect. Push it down in there. Yeah, I'm a new fan of the super glue Loctite. It just, I got so much more out of it. I'm still on that same bottle. Adapt and evolve sometimes when you're learning and you're painting baits, you find things that work for you and then sometimes you find things that work a little better all right there it is the finished little bluegill i'm going to get some um epoxy on it now for epoxy on these you guys know i use solar res and uh i can't dip this obviously because it's going to seal up the the joints so it's kind of a slow process to epoxy these i'm not going to put that on tape on video but I'll, i will tell you how i go about it now in order to keep these joints flexible i use a little brush something like this and i'll get down in here as best i can around that joint and I'll do one half at a time. So I'll do this half. I'll let it dry. Then I'll flip it over. And I'll do the other side. Let it dry. Sometimes I'll do both sides. It just depends on how much I mix up. If I still got some left over. And I can squeeze in another side on it. Um, if you're using the Bob Smith. You know that stuff starts setting up quick. Um, then I'll do that top half. And I always hang it. So like if... If I do the bottom, I'll hang it like this so it doesn't run into my hinges. 
and then I'll flip it over and then I'll do this side and I'll hang it like this so yeah that's what I'm gonna do it worked out really nice to on the ones I've already done so um, let me get the epoxy on there and um, I'll bring you back and we'll finish this guy up okay guys here's the finished bluegill um, I hope the wind ain't too bad I got my windscreen on here but it's a little breezy out here today and I'm kind of in the shade just because the sun was so bright it just wasn't showing the colors very good but I think this looks pretty good um, so yeah that's the finished guy I like it of course I always like my baits I'm sure you like yours too sometimes we get some we don't like um, that we do them over but that's the beauty of being able to paint our own baits um, so all right colors we use today titanium white pearl white Vallejo green blue violet apple barrel blue cotton detail yellow okri detail sepia detail moss green and opaque black for the ear tab not in that order actually you'll have to watch the video to see what order it's in but uh yeah and i did another one off camera um i'll show you that one here in a second um so it turned out pretty good um this one's got a little more green down the sides the other one i did i put a little more ochre on the sides and then um give me two different custom bluegills so i'm sure i won't have any problem getting rid of these this one here is for sam so sam here's your bait it's all done give me a call come on up and pick it up but uh let me show you the other one i did um same colors pretty much um because i like to do a couple variations sometimes i know the wind's probably kicking up now so let me show you this one this one's with a little bit less detail moss green on the sides it's kind of got a little more okri in it so i kind of ran the okri down the sides a little bit and um and then came over top of it with the moss green and then the sepia so this is just a little better take um it was still a little wet on the side there so i kind of botched up the fin but i don't think the fish will care they'll still hit it um so i'm gonna put a link to uh the baits i used down in the in the uh description so you can always check description for uh colors and um and bait bodies and stuff like that links to them so some of them are amazon links so it's a little bit of affiliate and kicks back a little bit to the channel but but i appreciate all you guys i appreciate the supporters um it's really cool getting emails and um seeing people's baits doing lure trades i still do lure trades i always do lure trades so if you got one and you want to trade it i'll be glad to uh to uh trade with you um stickers and and, and lures so hit me up on uh instagram if you ain't following us on instagram go follow us on instagram and hit me up there or you can email me um admin at crustycranks.com and uh get ready for some more videos i got some more bluegills i'm going to share with you um so i hope you enjoy hit that like button smash that notification bell and give us a thumbs up and i always appreciate you guys so remember stay crusty my friends